What? What else? Mike, what are we doing here? Uh, hey, we're just having some fun, Dennis. <laughs> and hey. we're at the SEMA show, right? Yeah, the SEMA show. SEMA 2019 out here in Las Vegas. And of course, everybody knows me as Auto Geek, and everybody knows Dennis with uh, what's the name of that show? I believe it's My Classic Car. It's been running a couple of years now. How many? 24. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> 24 years. So everybody knows this guy, and a few of you know who I am. But we are in the Lake Country booth. Actually, we're in the division of LC Power Tools, and this is their brand new polisher. And this thing is the bomb. You've been using this, it's warm. It's warm, yeah. <laughs> this thing is so cool. It does so many different things. And there's so much excitement out there in the car detailing world about this tool because there's never been anything like this on the market before. That is because it's basically the Swiss Army knife uh, of, of polishers, right? And that it's, is such a great analogy. It is, because it, it is. has everything. Yeah, yeah a corkscrew, yep. a can opener. Walks it, talks it, curls on its belly like a reptile. Yeah. No, no, seriously, but it does a lot of different things. It does. And uh, just a few minutes ago, they turned me loose with one of these things. And here's the sandpaper I use. So I sanded down the panel. This is 3000 grit. And this thing has a sanding mode. Yes, uh, which I could do a lot of damage with. I mean, <laughs> don't try that at home, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Sanding's definitely not for everybody, but it's something that detailers need to do yeah, once in yeah. a while. And so instead of getting another tool, you can do it with this tool right here. Because it's a rotary, but wait, there's more. There's more. It's also free spinning random orbital in 8 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 21 millimeter. So the, the eight millimeter is perfect for sanding, knocking down orange peel, surface texture, things like that, and dirt nibs. You would even orbital sand? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. That's the only way to sand. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Well, here's kind of a joke. People ask me about that all the time, and I tell you, if you put the sanding disc in the rotary mode, that's no longer sanding. That's called grinding. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we, I guess that's true. And that's good for concrete and steel, but it's not too good for car paint. So yeah, rotary or uh, orbital mode for sanding. Then, after I sanded that panel down, why don't you grab that, that, that fiber pad? Uh, this one. Yeah, that is a, that is, this is one of the coolest things to come out. I don't know if your cameras can see how short the pile length is. So most of the wool pads on the market have a really long pile length. This one's the shortest one I've ever seen. And here's what that does for you. Not only does it cut great, it finishes out great. And it buffs so smooth on the surface. It doesn't yank you around like a lot of wool pads. Feels really nice. Oh, it feels nice to see you start getting some compound on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I want to dry and clean, you can take that home and sleep on it. There you go. So then we pulled the sandy marks out with it, and it took them out without no effort at all. And then we switched over to the orbital mode. And I went ahead and went all the way up to the big daddy, the 21 with the foam polishing pad. And boom, all the all the, the paint was just absolutely perfectly clear. This pad? It was actually, I used the light you tan did? one, okay. yes. So it's a lot softer. Yeah. You so you went, you went right from sanding to this? I went right from sanding to cutting, from That'd cutting very, to polishing. Right, right. Got yes. it, got it. Skip the step on yeah. that particular and, application. And here's kind of a tip. I know there's a lot of pads on the market, and it can kind of get confusing what one pad is and what it does. But just take your hand and just run it across the surface. In a cutting pad, you can feel a sharpness there. Compress it, and cutting pads tend to be stiffer. So you try that. And then polishing pads. It's definitely sharper. Much softer. In fact, I used this one to put makeup on this morning. <laughs> and you look marvelous. He looks at the model. And it compresses really easy. So that's a, a tip on how to tell what a pad is if you don't really have the I color cut. And, and I didn't actually know that. And it, you know, you you leave me with a lot of pads. And I'm always like, you told me what they did, but that was a long time yeah, ago. That was, so uh, this is actually a nice test. Yeah. It's a, it's a simple test you can do. Yeah. Feel it, compress it. Yeah. Well, definitely. And of course, you got me on speed dial. You could always give me a call. Hey, Mike, Mike what's this pad? It's an emergency. What's <laughs> the a, pink one do? It's a car wax emergency. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a couple other things about the new Udo tools are the different handles it comes with. And basically, this is really about comfort, you know? Uh, I ask people all the time, how long does it take you to buff out a car? And I hear a range of three hours to ten hours, depends on how big it is. But if you're going to be holding a polisher and buffing, you want, you want the handle to fit your hand. Now, my wife says I got big monkey hands. So this would be the handle for me. That, that was a big honking handle, man. That's a big handle. They but call nice that contour. a platypus handle, I think. Well, it looks like it, actually. <laughs> But it's a nice grip on it. Comfortable. Yeah. And then if you've got a medium-sized hand or a small hand, you got a different size. That way, at least you're comfortable while you're running that buffer. Yeah, I can dig that. And, and you want that because um, 
This set was hefty. Yeah, it's got some weight to it with a gear mechanism in it. But that's where the, all the magic takes place. A yes. couple other things, this has the most powerful motor on the market today. Really? I believe, I should double check with one of my compadres here, but I think, David, David. We need a ruling. We need a ruling over here. David I think it's a 1,000 yes. watt motor. What? 1200 watts. But so there we have an extra. 1200. So 1200 watt motor, which does put it at the top tier of power in the industry. And that's, again, it can drive all those different functions. And a couple other cool things. Nice soft tool rest right here so you can flip that upside down, set it down even on car paint. It wouldn't scratch it, it wouldn't slide off. It's got their own proprietary developed uh, backing plates that cool the pad as the, that they're spinning at the same time. And it's got a sexy look to it with those great gray and blue colors. Totally sexy. Anodized, even. Yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, let's go ahead and just walk through the different functions. If you want to hold it up, and I'll, I'll walk through them. All right, walk away. So this is how this tool works. You've got a series of different lines up here, and all you got to do is line up all the different components so the lines are in line. So now I've got the mark here, the line on the shroud, the line on the rotating shroud, and the line on the back plate. Then you can pull this down. I can't see. There we, we call go. Pull that parallax. Actually. There we go. Pull it down. That was parallax. And then you just turn that and slide it to the desired setting that you want. So I just went from rotary to the P3, which is 21 millimeter and everything in between. So this is really, it's like the next evolution in tools, or as you say, the Swiss Army knife. Absolutely. And this is now this is your your free spinning. Free spinning mode right there. 21 millimeter free spinning. Oh. Uh, Bob Eichelberg is here. Bob, can you step in? Sure. Just, and I know it's really hard to pin down dates, but if you had to say, when do you expect this to be going into production or people will be able to start getting excited at least that it's going to be on the market? Well, Mike, we're going to showcase this at Mobile Tech in January. Okay. And Big we're show. going to take pre-orders at that show for it. Okay. And um, the pre-orders will be shipped about the second week in March and out to the customers shortly thereafter. That sounds good. So, Mobile Tech Expo, the best, largest trade show for the detailing industry and the PDR. And by the way, if you're watching this, I got eight classes this year. Get signed up for all of them. They're always a lot of fun. And I'm taking a guess, I might have one of these in one of my classes. There's Whoop. a good chance he's going to have one. <laughs> Will it be the Mike Phillips autograph model? Yeah, we're going to have the autograph model. But, hey, come by Mobile Tech. Get ready to order the tool and the pads and everything we talk about. And Dennis and Mike, thanks for the preview today. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool Very tool. Sweet. Very cool tool. Hey, and for any information onto this in the future, hit autogeeks.com.